Good morning. It's uh, a little after five. Just got in from the dogs. And today's my last call day. Ever. Ever. So that's exciting. But usually I just sit in front of the camera to procrastinate, but I actually have to go, so let's ride. You know, it's uh, it's amazing how routine this drive is. I've been doing more or less the same drive for the last, let's see, three years of residency and then three and a half years of med school before I moved, so six and a half years now. So the same roads, the same bumps, <laughs> really nothing on the road has changed. A couple new buildings here and there and a speed trap camera actually right over there. But uh, yeah, and then this whole feeling about going on call, well, I gotta take the pagers and I gotta make sure which short call team has fewer patients and I should probably stop for this red light, that's better. Um, you know, and how many patients I've got, and I've got new interns today because the intern switched today and I had the same interns for a month and now I have two new interns. And what's that learning curve gonna be like? And this is all a bag of feelings that I've had so many times throughout the course of this medical training and yeah I don't think I'm going to miss it I'll be completely honest with you so I am handsomely by myself Interns are, well, they're doing stuff. Um, but usually, first thing in the morning is a chance for me to tidy up and get ready for the discharges for the day. Our hospital has been full for months and there are people boarding the emergency room that need to be you know, not boarding the emergency room. So if I can get some home health paperwork and discharge orders, uh, all that good stuff tidied up first thing in the morning so these patients can get home, um, well, then the beds could be clean and we can get some more patients. <laughs> it's kind of like shooting myself in the foot a little bit with work, as far as that goes, but uh, it just has to happen in the hospital, I guess. Um, this morning, we have seven patients on our list. We can have up to 16 patients on our list. Um, I know very well my two new interns. Uh, one of them I've known for a number of years because he was a med student here. Um, the other one, his cousin is in my residency class, so I know him pretty well. Um, but looks like we don't have a particularly terrible list. Um, a lot of discharges for the morning, actually. So it's gonna be kind of a busy morning. Usually on call days, it's not so busy in the morning because it's just like, okay, well, we have the same patients, we do the same plans, and there's not many of them, and we need to wait for the hospital to clear out a little bit so that we can admit a bunch of patients in the afternoon. Um, the afternoons are usually very busy, like afternoon evenings up until like eight. Usually very, very busy. But um, today, the morning's gonna be busy too because we're trying to get rid of so many patients. Uh, oh boy, okay, well, enough talking to the camera. And uh, yeah, I got some more stuff to do, okay. Um, I'm just walking back after seeing my fourth patient of the day, new one anyway. I think we started the day with like seven or eight. Um, and now, before I go eat dinner, I'm gonna go update the shared list between myself and my sister senior on the other team, because we're both admitting today. <sighs> Try to figure out who else we're gonna see next. We have one, two, two officially pending now, and then there's another two for a total of four that I need to write down and give to my team and then two more to her team so 
Huh, <sighs> yeah. Three hours left, and then I'm done with GMF forever. Not that I'm counting. So I can't tell you how super, super sad I am that this audio file got corrupted. We just laughed walking out of the elevator because a nurse was looking at us odd. So this is Steve. Steve I've known for a number of years. We met when he was a third year medical student and I was an intern. We were on cardiology consults together and he is significantly taller than I am. He's uh, 6'6 and I'm, you know, 6'2 on a good day. So Steve's great. I like Steve a lot. <laughs> And this is Ben, the other intern. His cousin is in my class. And he, unlike Steve, is shorter than I am. So we have everyone on the spectrum. Very tall, kind of tall. One tall and one small? Not so tall. One tall and one small, that's how we like to do it. And this is Isha, my sister senior I was telling you about. When did we first work together? CCU, last year. Last year, you were an intern. Yeah. Oh god, and now she's a senior. Everybody head for the hills. <laughs> she's the one who texts me at 6 o'clock every morning. Every ta morning. Talking about what the list looks like. And Top me, of the morning to you. Uh, I'm just exasperated because I don't care. Well, I do a little bit, but not at 6 o'clock in the morning. It's a good time. This is how we celebrate being done. Dog, glass of wine. Psycho Bob. Kyrie, and a, she has a glass of wine too, but maybe she drank it already. It's a little bright. I know, because somebody likes to not have lights on. It's you, my friend. Okay, you can get that on my face now. Hey, it's her fault for not turning on the lights, but last GMF ever. Done. Ugh. Ugh. It's, uh, I don't know. Uh, 9.30. Yeah. One glass of wine just for celebration. A 2012 Brunello, by the way. <laughs> I just... I, I don't know if I'm relieved. It feels weird, you know? I, for the last three years, you know, this has been like the rotation, GMF, general medical floors, the floors, just that's internal medicine. And this is the last day that I will do this as a resident. You know, it's all I've known for three years Frankly, I knew essentially this for two months of my third year of medical school, and it was kind of like being a resident light. So instead of handling, you know, eight or ten patients, it was two or three, right? <sighs> a weird feeling. Just never going to have to do it again until I am an attending, but even then, the job is just so much different. Like, at least going from intern to senior, there are some aspects that are the same. You know, your interns will have days off and you have to be the intern and the senior. Sometimes you help the interns with their notes or their handoffs or the orders or calling consoles or whatever it is. You know, it's a team game really. So you gotta help where you can help. But these days, you know, for the rest of my residency anyway, it's only consult services. So, you know, tomorrow I'm on pulmonary consults. And I tell you what's wrong with the lungs and I make my recommendations and I don't have to put in any orders. I don't have to do admit orders. I don't have to, you know, I don't have to call any consults. I don't have to, you know, field nursing pages. I don't have to do any of that stuff. It's just, hey, these are bad lungs and we're gonna do something or you should do something or uh, we're gonna do nothing and okay, bye. And that's it. Kind of nice. <laughs> I can end my residency with like, I don't know, I can skate right through, I guess. Um, you know, it's, uh, the days will be shorter, thank God. Uh, the responsibility will be lower. The patient load will be lower. 
yeah, I'm going to go work out before work tomorrow because I don't have to leave the house an hour after the gym opens, you know, that's pretty cool. I'm going to bed. Thanks for following me on this uh, on this day. I know I didn't take you through everything, but I feel like I took you through enough.